so we're still looking at more 4.4. We'll look at 38, 57, 61, and 72. So 38. 38. The equation given was y equals 1 half sine x. The directions are saying uh, we want to use a graph and try not to use our calculator and identify some max and mins. Now it says from negative 2 pi to 2 pi, but let's just do from 0 to 2 pi. I think that will suffice. So here the amplitude is going to be a half. The period is going to be 2 pi over 1, which is just 2 pi. That b value is 1. It's 1 times x. Okay, so I'm going to look at a graph here. So I'll make this 0.5, this negative 0.5. I'm going to draw a nice, neat sign graph. So there's one cycle of my sign graph from 0 to 2 pi. And I want to list the maxes, mins, and zeros. So it looks like I have zeros at three points. My zeros are 0, 0, uh, 2 pi 0, and then this point right in the middle, which looks to be at pi 0. So I have three zeros. Uh, I could have also said x equals 0, pi, and 2 pi, but I just wanted to list out the x values, or I could write out uh, the full coordinate of the zeros. Uh, looks like I have a local max up here. That's a local max. And it looks like that local max is at, well, this tick, I have 0, 0 marked in. I have pi 0. This tick marks looks like it's going to be between 0 and pi. We should make it pi over 2. So that local max is at pi over 2, comma 0.5. And that local min, that's at, uh, so it looks like each box goes up by half of a pi. 1 half pi, 2 halves pi, 3 halves pi. So it looks like it's going to be 3 pi over 2, comma negative 0.5. So I found between 0 and 2 pi, I found my local max and local min in all of my zeros. I didn't need the calculator. So 57. 57 wants me to construct a sinusoid with the given amplitude and period that goes to the given points. They want me to come up with an equation. Uh, so my, my sinusoid, so if it's a sinusoid, that means it's going to look like a, a sine wave or a cosine wave. So I can either be using writing a sine equation or a cosine equation, whatever is going to be easier for me. So for 57, it says that my amplitude is 3, my period is pi, and it goes to the point 0, 0. So since it goes to the point 0, 0, I think I'm going to want to use a sine equation. I'm going to sketch a picture of what this, uh, what such a graph would look like. It goes to the point 0, 0 has a period of pi. It's going to be pi out here. And an amplitude of 3. So my graph could look something like this. Oh, negative 3 a little bit too low there. So there's my graph. It's definitely a sine equation would be the easiest. So how about y equals 3 sine, so my amplitude is 3 here. Uh, now it's not just going to be x, because if it was just a single x, the period would be 2 pi. I don't need to add or subtract anything to the end of the function, because I'm not translating the function up or down from the original graph, y equals sine of x. So I need to solve for the b value, so I know that the period equals 2 pi over b, and I know that the period is pi. So I know that pi equals 2 pi over b. So I think b has to be 2. So there's the equation. 
that satisfies those characteristics. Okay, let's look at 61 now. 61 gave me a quite long equation, negative 2 sine x minus pi over 4 plus 1. They wanted me to find the amplitude in the period. So my amplitude is going to be 2. Remember, the amplitude is always just the lead coefficient. Just the absolute value, rather, of the lead coefficient. So my amplitude is 2, not negative 2. Uh, my period is going to be 2 pi over b. But b, in this case, is just 1 times x. So it's 2 pi over 1, which is 2 pi. I also needed to find, uh, relative to the function y equals sine x, the phase shift in vertical translation. Plus 1, that means I shift the graph up 1. That's the vertical translation. And then that x minus pi over 4, that's going to shift the graph to the right, pi over 4. And that is my phase shift. So phase shift is just a fancy way of saying that you translated a sinusoidal or trigonometric function to the right or left. So the phase shift is to the right pi over 4. Looks like I vertically translated the function up 1. The amplitude's 2 and the period's 2 pi. That's everything that was asked for. Now I don't know if I'll be able to fit 72 into the space provided here, but I'm going to try. Uh, the question says that a signal buoy in the Chesapeake Bay bobs up and down with the height h of its transmitter, which is in feet, above sea level. Modeled by the equation, so they give me the equation h equals a sine bt plus 5. Now it makes sense that this equation is sinusoidal because I'm picturing a buoy bobbing up and down in the sea. So it seems like it would be described by a sinusoidal function because it's bobbing up and down. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out the values of A and B here. So it says, during a small squall, its height varies from 1 feet to 9 feet. And there are 3.5 seconds from one 9-foot height to the next. Okay, so the first thing that I was told is that the height varies from 1 feet to 9 feet. That means that the wave is, or the, the height differential between the lowest point and the highest point is 8 feet. The amplitude is half of that, so my amplitude is going to be 4. And now, the, from one 9 foot height value to the next is 3.5 seconds, so that means that the period is 3.5. So I need to set that equal to 2 pi over b and solve, and I'll get b equals 2 pi over 3.5. So that is my b value. And I now have an equation that describes the motion of the buoy. So I did fit in on that page. And we're done with the four problems.